Hey, it's Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church with another Proverbs Practical. Thanks for watching. This proverb warns us that asking God to do our will while refusing to do His will is not well received of God. Verse, verse 9 of Proverbs 28, Proverbs 28, 9 says, He that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Well, that's a pretty striking and sobering verse. As a pastor and as a Christian, over the years in conversations, I've had plenty of people tell me that, sure, they don't really go to church, or they don't really do a lot of stuff the Bible says, but they're proud to say that they believe in God and they pray every day, or they pray often, or things like that. They say that like they think that that will earn them some credit with God or should get some respect from men. But this verse reveals that it's the exact opposite. The person who will give no audience to God's Word will find no audience with God. The person who has the opportunity to hear what God says and not only won't obey it, but won't even listen to it, doesn't even want to hear it, and the idea of hearing here is mostly just a poetic way of saying obeying it, that person finds that God just isn't listening to their prayers. It's not that God isn't aware of what they say, He knows everything, but it is to say that God's under no obligation to do what they ask. In fact, it's not just that the prayer is moot and pointless and meaningless and useless. It's that it's offensive. God finds it abominable. It's because it's presumptuous. It's inconsistent. This person doesn't believe in God enough to obey Him, but they want to ask Him to do things for them anyway. They won't listen to God, but they expect Him to listen to them. Or perhaps they don't believe in God enough to obey Him, but they want to offer a public prayer so that others think they're good, pious people. God finds any of these things abominable. It's speaking on false pretenses, because if we believe that God has the authority and power to answer prayers, then we should believe that He has the authority and power to command us to do what He will. Refusing those commands while trying to get Him to do things for us it seems suspiciously like trying to put our will in the place of His, trying to put ourselves in the sea of God. God is no puppet to our wills, and He's not obligated to do whatever people ask. We are under His authority, and we are obligated to do whatever He commands. Thankfully, in Christ, we do have access to God in prayer. But I think we should still be mindful of our lives while we pray. Are we knowingly rebelling against something God has told us, refusing to do what He says to us, but us still trying to talk to Him and get Him to do what we ask Him to do? Perhaps it's telling that James, and that's New Testament, not just Old Testament, says that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Now certainly God, in His, in His incredible mercy and grace, can answer prayers from people that don't deserve an answer. None of us truly deserve access to God. That's why we get it through Jesus Christ. And sometimes God will do things that people ask Him to do, even though they are out of His will and not obeying His Word. Perhaps because those responses serve some other purpose in His will and plan. But we can't call upon God to do what we want while refusing to do what he, uh, what he wants. I hope this video is a blessing to you. If it is, give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more like it. Until next time, I hope you stay well and listen to God's Word.